Hey everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are enjoying Scrap Madness. I know it's later in the month, but I'm hoping that you've been able to enjoy the other videos by the ladies that are doing videos every day. Laura Alberts and Miranda Weber are doing a video a day and then every day that they have a guest designer. And today I am one of the guest designers. Be sure to subscribe to all the channels listed. That way you can enjoy all the videos. I'll have them listed below in my description box. So even though it is later in the month, it's okay. You can always go back and watch them in case you miss somebody or somebody new. You're going to want to do that. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of us. All right, so let's get back to um, my layout here or just get to my layout. I am using some older papers. These are from Freckle Fawn. Uh, it's a 12 by 12 paper and I love this starburst kind of paper. It's very, uh, in quotation marks, you know, my air quotes, it's very shouty. Uh, because this picture of one of my great nieces, um, my niece had put on her Instagram, she had put uh, the words below says, oh, no, you didn't. Because I'm telling you what, these girls are pretty sassy. And that's what I'm going to title this is sassy. But um, anyway, I wanted to use this beautiful paper. Um, I felt like it needed something underneath it. So I used this turquoise blue to, um, as my foundation and then put the, the Starburst paper on top. And um, that little package over here on the left, what I had done, um, I don't know how you guys do cut files, but I had like a marathon and I just cut just all the cut files that I could think of that I might need, you know, cause I went to a crop recently and I thought, well, I might need them there. So I just put them all in a quart size bag and there they are. So the flowers that I have underneath my photo right now, it, I labeled it as blooming blossoms, but I didn't put whoever created them. So if someone can help me out, if they know who the designer is, I want to say it's Paige Evans, but I looked on her things and I couldn't find it. If it's somebody else, I'll be glad to give them credit. Um, I've been doing really good about, you know, putting down who the designer is so I can give credit to where credit's due. But I can't find this one. And I've looked for uh, at least an hour this morning. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to have to let it go. And hopefully somebody will help me out. And look how many I cut out. I cut out so many. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to end up putting them all back into the, you know, that little baggie. So just focus on the, the layout there. I know it looks like a hot mess right there, but I took the time out to glue everything down. Now, the little daisy is metal. And that's also from Freckle Fawn. Um, and I decided to use the Zots bling to adhere that down. I use about three or four of the little Zots on the back of it. That should be good enough to keep it secured. Um, I wanted to tell you what that little sticker, or it's not a sticker, it's um, on the purple oval. At the top, it said something about, let me tell you the story, but I didn't want that. I put um, this, it's kind of a striped um, embellishment, and it says little moments like these. So whenever I was done with everything, I thought it was still pretty bland, and which is not me at all. I, it needed a something extra. And I thought, well, I can look at some sequins and I was going to use, you know, tone on tone sequins. But then I pulled out this baggie of sequins. I got at retreat. Oh my goodness. My friend Sharon, she was so sweet. She pulled all her large sequins and put them in this little baggie and gave them to me at the retreat. Oh my gosh, be still my heart. This was such a heart-filled gift. I so appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Sharon. She knows I like the big sequins, so she gave me all of hers. 
And that is, to me, it's a gift of the heart. So anyway, I can't say thank you enough, but it really helped with this layout, I thought. It really does make this pop. I found something, even though that starburst is very bold, you know, I felt like it still needed a little something. And I am just trying to choose, you know, there are some different colors within that. I couldn't do tone on tone. Um, you know, the colors are unusual and most sequins don't come in those colors. So I just use some neutral or some coordinating. There's some silver and there's some ivory and there's some clear. There are some pink and I am going to use the distress collage medium to glue them down you can guys can take a big sigh of relief oh i am not gonna make you watch me put those down hallelujah yeah that's a lot of sequins it, it really didn't take very long because they are so large but oh my goodness so here it is i'm going to show you in real time as i go around and ignore my kitty cat in the corner. She just decided to plop there. There's some still shots at the end. Make sure you check out the other ladies that are participating in the Scrap Madness. Um, give them some love, give some thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment if you would. All right, guys, I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.